Hello everybody, this is Naman Jen coming out with a new tutorial. This tutorial is going to be about um, leveling systems. So now that we are able to kill our opponent, we will be able to level up by gaining experience. So um, let's go ahead and begin. So first what we're going to do is we're going to go to our player game object and add a script called level system. You can call it anything you want to, I just like to call it level system as it for leveling. And the reason it's a different script and I'm not adding the functionality in fighter is because every functionality in the game should have a different script rather than mingling different functionality into just one script which just makes it very messy. Okay. Oops. Okay, so there we go, a level system script. So the first and most obvious thing is is that we're going to have a public int level. So this is basically going to define the level of the player. And second we're going to have a public int exp. So this is basically going to be the experience of the player. Okay, so now for leveling up, every game has a different formula for leveling up. So basically, um, this formula, so-called formula, defines how much EXP you need to level up. So some games have a constant formula where, uh, where you need only, for example, if you level up from 1 to 2, you need 100 experience. And if you want to level up to 2 to 3, you need 100 experience and 3 to 400 experience and so on. And you have a linear equation where maybe you need 50 experience to level up from 1 to 100, 100 experience to level up from 2 to 3, 150 to level up from 2 to 3 so it constantly increases and you have a quadratic formula which increases exponentially meaning like for level from level 1 to 2 you need 4 exp and from level 1 2 to 3 you need 16 and from 3 to 4 you need 64 so the difference in the level in the experience between each level increases dramatically and you can make your own formulas too so first we're going to start with a constant formula, meaning that you need only a constant EXP to increase every level. So we're going to start with that and go more complex as we progress. So first we're going to write in comments for ourselves that we need, we need maybe 100 EXP to level up every level. I like think. <laughs> it is cooler. So just gonna have a void level up method so this is basically going to check if you have leveled up or not and one more thing i need to tell you is that this exp is going to always reset to zero after we have leveled up so first we're going to say if our exp has exceeded or is equal to 50 so this is basically saying that i mean 100 sorry because uh, we need 100 uh, experience to ding. So basically if our EXP has exceeded 100 points We're going to level up so level plus 1 and we're going to set EXP to 0 again So we can start our EXP to 0 and what we're going to do is We're going to go to our fight our uh, mob and What is what we're going to do is each mob is going to have an instance of our level system so the reason why we want this is whenever we kill a mob we want our exp to rise so what we're going to do is basically we're going to go to the top we're going to go somewhere over here i guess going to say public level system and you're going to call it player level so through this we will be able to increase our exp I'll just show you in a second how. We're gonna go to a die animation, die method, and whenever we die, before we destroy our object, this is from the mob's perspective, whenever we destroy our mob, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to player level dot um, exp is equal to player exp plus 50. Let's say, uh, let's say 200 let's say our mob gives us 200 xp for now okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to our update method in our level system and we're going to we're going to call the level up method every frame just to check if we have 
Okay. So now we're gonna go back. And we're gonna see a level and uh, EXP. Let's start, let's make our starting level to be one. As you can see, our EXP is zero. And after we go and kill our mob, it's taken a while. And after he dives, we get um, error. Ah, sorry, of course. Uh, that is because we need to go to our mob, our fight, our mob over here. And what we need to do is we need to set our player level over here, our scripts. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on this little circle and press player. And for now, let's make our max health just 40, 50. And what we're going to do is it's going to go, we're going to drag over and kill it. And let's go back to our player. And as you can see, we have dinged to level two. So after you ding, you can do a couple of things to your statistics over here. Maybe after you ding, you want to increase your damage by 20, let's say. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and we're just going to bring up our fighter class and we're going to see our damage into over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to increase our health maybe by, we want to say we want to increase our health by 100 and our damage by 50 because we have leveled up. So first we're going to have a public fighter um, player. So this is going to be our script over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to say, okay, now that we have leveled up, we're going to make a separate method, say, void level effect. So this is going to be the effects of leveling up. And we're going to say player dot health. And actually, it's not going to be our health, but we're going to have a public int max health. Sorry about that. Because we want to increase our max health, not just our current health. So we're going to add a new variable, max health. And in our start, we're going to say health is equal to max health. So basically, we're going to say player dot max health is equal to player dot max health plus 100. And then we're going to say player dot um, damage is equal to player dot damage plus 50 and then what we're going to do is we're going to call our level effect over here so it's going to affect our player and I cannot see any why can't I see Oh, there we go and then what you're gonna do is we're gonna drag our fighter script to over here and I as you can see our health is very high right now for some reason oh. let's make our max health thousand so that our health uh, because you, in our start we say health is equal to max health and then we're gonna drag over and press spacebar and he dies as you can see our max health has increased by 100 and our damage has increased by 50 as we have dinged. Now this is uh, remember I've, in the beginning I told you there are many kind of formulas. This is a constant formula where the experience stays the same. Next we can have a formula that increases the amount of experience you need as you level up. Today we, we're going to do this. We're going to have a formula. Let's say a linear formula. We're going to say we need 50, let's say we need 100 times the level of experience we need to ding. Um, this might sound confusing, but I'll explain now. So at level 1, we will need 100 experience. At level 2, because our level is going to be 1, so we need, which is equal to 100, so we need 100 experience points. But at level 2, when we turn level 2, we will need 200 experience because now our level is 2 
and now at level 3 we will need 300 experience so as you can see our experience is constantly increasing by 100 every time we level up so now the way we're going to do this we're going to say is if our experience if our experience is more than 100 times our level so if our level is 1 we need 100 experience if our level is 2 we need 200 if it's 3 we need 300 so that is a linear formula to for our experience and after we do that we're just going to go to our mob script and let each depth each depth for a mob give us only 100 experience so now as we go back as you can see i have three enemies over here and i made my max health one second I made my max health really high so they can't kill me and we're gonna go ahead and play the script so i'm just gonna drag on them I'm gonna kill one of the mobs and as you see as he dies we can dink level 2 and as we go to another one and we um, our experience goes to 100 and as we drag on to our next one our experience goes to 200 and this time we dink because we need 200 experience now we just saw uh, um, error we're just gonna fix that in the moment and we're gonna do that in the last because it's not relevant to this leveling system so as you can see, this is um, a linear formula for a leveling system and now we're going to have exponential and that is going to be the last one because that is what usually games use, exponential formula. So now the way this is going to work is we're going to say basically we need level to the power maybe let's say um two plus hundred experience now this might seem a little confusing but I'll explain you so level to the power two means uh, power is to the two basically I probably expect you to know but it's basically level times level so basically at level one we need hundred we need hundred and one experience because it's one to the power two plus 100 which is 101 but once you change to level 2 we need 104 and the increase in experience is 3 once we ding to level 3 we need one not we need 109 so the difference is 5 so the difference has increased by 2 and as we go on higher the difference is going to increase even further so in this case from 10 to 11 we need 21 experience and if we go from 50 just 2600 to 51 we need 101 experience so as you can see the experience is increasing now the increase in the experience is very low so maybe you want to a power 3 and trust me by increasing a power by just one it increases the impact a lot for example you have 50 which has only by one has increased by so much so let's try 20 to the power 3 which is 8100 and you do 21 the difference is I don't even know some thousand to 61 so as you can see the difference keeps on increasing so for now let's have to the power 2 level to the power 2 plus 100 it's gonna have to the power 2 level uh, we're gonna say math.power pal and this basically takes level as the base and the power as 2 so this is taking the power plus 100 now this is not the most ideal formula but it's just an example now you're gonna go in and fight them and you kill one of them and we don't ding yet because we need 101 experience and we ding now but now we see another bug as we saw before we had 100 experience and we needed one not one experience to level up so we leveled up but we only efficiently only gain one experience because after after gaining 100 experience and leveling to two 
We said the experience is zero. So what happened to the other 99 experience that made sense? I will show you again. So we know each of these mobs gives us 100 experience and we kill one of them and we get 100 experience. We get 100 experience and we need that one more one experience. But when we kill another mob, he's going to give us 100 experience. But it's only going to give us efficiently one experience and level up to two. And suddenly the 99 experience just vanished. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to say our experience is actually equal to our experience. Our current experience minus the experience we needed to ding. And remember this whole formula should be within the brackets. Within the brackets or else what it's going to do is if for example if this isn't in the bracket it's going to say just minus the level times level comma two but it's going to add the hundred which is wrong so it's minus the whole formula so just copy paste in simple words just copy this paste copy and paste this thing over here and put it in brackets the minus over here and now we're gonna go back and we're gonna see um, yes um, because this returns that uh, the, the value in float we need to cast int to it so convert it to int so there we convert it into int and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna play and as we play and we're gonna hover over them we're gonna kill the first one and then just hover on the second one and kill the second one and as we can see we have 100 experience and as we ding it uses only one experience to level up because that is how much we needed and we have 99 experience left to ding and as we kill this one we ding to level 3 and it leaves out the experience we needed so there you go and as you can see it keeps on adding 50 to the damage so what you can also do is you can have a formula for how much damage you want to add each time so for example you want to say you put in the formula saying that you want to add level sorry so maybe when you're level 1 it's effi effectively going to add to the power 2 so it's going to add 1 to the power 2 which is 1 at level 1 then it's going to add 4 which is 2 to the power 2 and then it's going to add 9 damage so there's the adding of damage also increases exponentially and you can do the same with health so I'm not going to teach you how to create these formulas but I'm just teaching you how to implement these formulas over here so there you go you have a leveling system and as you level up you can change literally anything you want to over here you can even do effects like as you level up your health you want to just make your health equal to your maximum health as you have in some games we say player dot health is equal to player dot max health so basically it's just like a reset after you level up your your um, health just goes back to full or your mana or anything like that so there you go a leveling system guide but I need to tell you something very important actually a question to you guys so I'm, I'm, I'm going to start inventory system um, session maybe in the next tutorial or in the next to next and I'm really curious if you guys really want to learn the real Diablo style way of uh, inventory system where an item can have more than one slot to itself or because that is a little bit more complex and I don't currently have the graphics yet but if you guys really want to learn that I will find out the graphics and make try to make a really good tutorial and explain really good on how to make that and the second option is inventory system which is like wow like World of Warcraft or RuneScape where each item has one slot so guys uh, tell me your opinion on which kind of GUI system you want to learn so there you go guys if you like my tutorial thumbs up like subscribe really helps me a lot and have a good time guys bye bye